Hi friends, in this video we see some questions related to electrons. First question is what is an electron? An electron is a negatively charged subatomic particle. Okay. So atom has three particles, neutron, proton and the electron. Neutron is uh, neutron has no uh, charged particle then uh, proton has positive charge and the electron is a negatively charged particle what is the electric charge of an electron that is minus 1 what is the mass of an electron 9.109389 multiply 10 to the power minus 31 kg who discovered an electron jj thompson which arrangement is used to study the electricity through gases? Discharge tube. Who measured the specific charge of the electron? J.J. Thompson. Okay. What is the definition of specific charge? So, specific charge means charge per unit mass. Here, charge is E, then by M means mass. So, the specific charge is E by M. Okay. What is the principle used in the J.J. Thompson method? Here J.J. Thompson determined the, uh, determined the value of specific charge of an electron. And then what is the principle? So the principle is cathode is deflected by electric and magnetic field. What is the value of E by M? The value of E by M according to J.J. Thompson method is E by M equal to 2Ye by KL square B equal to the value is 1.7592 multiply 10 to the power 11 coulomb kg minus 1. Okay. What is another method to determination of uh, charge of an electron? So the, uh, uh, the answer is Milligan's oil drop method. So Milligan's uh, oil drop method is the another method to find the uh, charge of the electron. Okay. So what is the principle used in the Milligan's oil drop method? It is based on the study of motion of uncharged oil drop under free fall due to gravity and charged oil drop in a uniform electric field. Okay. Here first one is the oil drop is placed, the uncharged oil drop is placed uh, under the uh, free fall uh, due to gravity then uh, charged oil, oil drop placed in a uniform magnetic field. Okay. So this is the principle used in the Milligan's oil drop method. The next one is what is net downward force acting on the oil drop due to gravity. So the net force is 4 by 3 pi a cube rho minus sigma g. Here rho is the density of oil and the sigma is the density of air. Okay. This is the for downward force that is total downward force acting on the oil drop due to gravity okay so the net downward force is equal to which force viscous force that is here we use the oil drops the oil has some viscous properties okay so uh, therefore some the oil drop has some uh, uh, viscous force this viscous force is equal to the net downward force uh, due to gravity okay so what is the viscous force on the oil drop by stokes law viscous force is 6 by eta AV. Okay. Then uh, eta is the uh, viscous uh, coefficient. Okay. Uh, what is the radius of oil drop? Oil drop uh, radius is uh, A equal to 9 eta V by 2 uh, rho minus sigma G whole power 1 by 2. What is the value of charge of an electron according to Milligan oil drop method? The value of uh, charge of electron is 1.602 multiply 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb. Okay, this, uh, this is the value of charge of an electron according to Milligan oil drop method. The next one is what is an antiparticle of electron? So, antiparticle of uh, electron is called the positron. This positron has uh, same mass equal to the electron. That means the mass of positron and the electrons and uh, all other properties are um, equal for positron and electron but uh, the positron electric charge is plus 1 but electron electric charge is minus 1 ok uh, so um, uh, electron and positron differ by their electric charge value positron has plus 1 value and electron has minus 1 values ok so what are cathode rays 
A stream of electron is called the cathode rays or a beam of electrons. Uh, a beam of electrons is called the cathode rays. Okay. Thank, uh, that's all friends. Thank you.